Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 3 with Black Ice 8, Third Reich Events. Let's continue. The gathering forces are moving east. Okay. Some more forces. Let's see. Building a few, and maybe I need to do building a few airports, Gibraltar, way off in the east there. Still a bit worried about. Now, well, not so much with fuel. Got enough spies, I think. Yeah, that's going to keep down for a while. Believe me, I want to build a lot of things. I just don't want to end up with no manpower. Thinking about increasing factories, which will allow me to build more expensive things. Like battleships, carriers, heavy transports. So let's do a little bit of that. Um, I think all of these places have maxed out those with the heavy industries. Let's look around. Well. Don't want to build too far east, so we'll build in East Prussia there because we want to build where we have cores. Now we'll build out here in Kenamunde. Rocket factory. I know that's really only sort of scratching the surface of all these ICs, but it will help. Obviously, it'll make, mean that we can build more things. Let's see how are we doing on manpower anyways. Hundred and fifty one a month. Okay, that's pretty good. We're no longer obviously losing a lot of men in the east, so hopefully that'll be, keep us from going. Negative. Um, let's go to mechanized infantry. Oh, 
armor attachment. Some medium artillery. Tank. It's one of cars. Some engineers and rough tracks. And a divisional headquarters. We'll do that. That's keeping it you know, not terribly fast. Let's see if we go with mechanized engineers. No, that's not the big thing sewing us up. What's sewing us up? Heavy anti tank, okay. Let's go with tank destroyers. Just where are they? Medium tank destroyers. There we go, that's what we want to do. There we go. And I want to make a fast mech unit okay i think we want those no wait a minute there's the other one i think we're, we're going to yeah we'll cancel that yeah we'll cancel that Attachment again. I think it got slower than I wanted it to get. I'm going to stay at right this speed here. Yeah, the engineers also slow it down. So the armored engineers keep it going. Well, not as fast, but. And medium artillery. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want for that division. And I want another one. It's going to be even faster. Well, maybe not. But. Is it. Obviously, there's some movement bonuses there that are not, I'm not calculating in. I'm just looking at this raw speed total with particularly the half-track unit. But generally, so we're going to do light artillery there. And we're going to go just with tank destroyers. Self-propelled artillery. Okay, hopefully this over various train types will be a very fast but hard-hitting division with although we have armor that gets us the armor thing we are using tank destroyers to counter out some of that so that should be a good hard-hitting division that's only using 12 manpower Instead of building four infantry divisions or something that uses equal or nearly equal manpower kind of thing. So that'll get us that. We need a few more heavy fighters. We're going to run into a lot of problems with the Americans, I believe, in aircraft. I had one or two um, of my anti-shipping patrols out here. 
And when the event happened, the Americans showed up with their air power here and just slaughtered them. I'll go bye-bye. So, I know once we get closer to them. So let's keep going, just wanted to get production going, yeah, okay. Okay, battle fleet. I think we need to keep this up. I want to check. Oh no, okay, we got that for... Oh, so we don't need to keep this up. Battle fleet concentration. We can do a light cruiser escort. Control that one. Before I go quick, and... No, we're trying to lower their neutrality. clock on that. Well, let's see if we can overrun them. Okay, armored cars. Out of time. Ah. Okay. Load up. We got a good marine storm division here. These guys are not on board. Let me swap out those. Um, tropical island divisions at some point, but for right now. Wonder how well the SD would have done in India, or the, the SS in general. Okay, well, um, let's go here for some rebase, rebase there. With their kooky racial philosophies, I don't know how they would have dealt with India once they got up close and 
personal to it. It is a, from the Nazi point of view, a racially mixed group. Just two, but I want some more naval bombers as well. Talking about on the message boards, you know, I'm, we're going after Britain. Once we get Britain, you know, we're going to grab up a couple of these islands and we're going to see about doing some um, naval invasions and or para, para invasions here and then here and then here. Some of these will need to be naval because they're too far away. And then coming in something like for, into Canada here, the Newfoundland. And that will allow us to potentially move into Canada here. So, again, hoping to avoid direct naval combat. We were talking about um, the Z plan and... Upgrading or building, you know, what would be enough carriers to be able to even challenge a reasonable American fleet. And very correct, it, I'm not in a real in a position to, to do that at the moment. Challenge them directly. We'll go with this. And so I'm hoping not to, though, if, and part of the thing is, is, um, naval invasions take time. So I don't know how likely the Americans will be to respond to something coming in here in Britain, which is technically is British territory. But if we can get in here, have air bases and then um, parachute right into um, provinces with ports then you just dash in with the the heavier forces into the ports you said it's the concept I'm working on But we are increasing am amphibious invasion tactic tax because oh, that's over here. It's useful because not everything is going to be able to be done air power. You know, pair drops. And we are okay. These guys. Okay. No. Cleared that out good. We're holding an SS, um, off an SS party here with everybody showing up to be reorganized in. Okay, air unit command again, or armor unit command and control. Now these are only 43, so we'll let them go. Armor unit command and control. Finland. We we'll give them money for fuel. No, not at this time. Bulgaria. 
No. No. Not money, but I think we've got plenty of fuel. Say that now, and then we won't, but... See how we're doing down south now, but yeah. Okay, we are just we made it here. Here we won't risk. Go up to there. So you over there. Ring types, yes, mountains, go into there. Five different tree. So I saw you over there. Time to get there. Nineteenth of next month. Ah, uh, April. That's, you know, a month to get from here to there is just entirely unacceptable. See, now we'll get there a few days, take us a few days to reorganize. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you could... It would take that long to walk there in the mud and uh, other terrain types. But for some reason, I just don't believe so. We'll need to reorganize this a bit. Let's see. You get detached. You get detached. Yeah, you may get reattached sometime in the future, but you don't. Not now. These guys are down here, so I don't need the police attached, but There we go. Well, we're making progress along there. Could use more convoys. Let's do one more escort. I'll just join. As you can see, we're doing fairly well here. They've got Burma. We're just cleaning up the last there and then thinking about going in after them. Japan has Midway but has lost. For some reason we were based out of here but we're still supplied. They've taken my base but we're still operating and we're still sinking so I'm not touching these guys out here but the rest of the Japanese have left the region. Maybe they'll come back Okay, well, waiting for 
either the need or whatever with more supplies. Hopefully these guys are getting supplies enough. Okay, four engine airframe. This will help that. And medium bomber prototypes. Okay, good. We'll improve our carrier aircraft. Mentioning that, let's build a couple of more carrier aircraft. Two more will be good. Because we're going <clears> to... <throat> they, they have a huge lead, lead time to build and they're expensive. They take very little manpower. But um, if we lose them, um, it'll be forever to replace them. And I'd rather have the carriers continue. Basically, carrier air power is overpowered. Mainly, uh, if I understand correctly, is because um, the AI once it loses it, the aircraft that come with building of the the carriers, they won't rebase anything um, to it. Okay, bunch of stuff coming here. We're about ready to get cut off. So, well, if we take their capital, they may just all collapse. So we're going to try to see about taking capital. Okay, battleship engine. Okay, we need to keep them going. And just lost this province here. Now we're going to take it right back. Recon units. We're going to let those go. Just about every division has one. Yes, we are. That's why we're moving the SA in there. I mean, the SS. Particularly the SD. Help. Okay, no, we're not buying anything from you. Strategic rockets. Okay, which now we can start doing these if we want to. Okay, surface to air and air to air missiles. Those I'm interested in. Um, so we need to do rocket engines. At least one to get them. I'm not really planning on doing any campaign of V1 or V2 bombing. So it's more to get the other things than to. And that's where I've been sending lots and lots of divisions. Okay, so we're here in March. Still got a bunch of units coming, as you can see here, here, here. I think I've got enough to take Britain. I mean, I didn't totally pull everybody out of the east. Got a lot of stuff stacking up down here. As you can see, getting ready to be shipped um, south, just eventually to South America and other places. A lot of police units, some more um, good 
you know, it's in jungles and swamps and those kind of places. So, mentioning that, these guys have made it to here. These guys are here, okay. Don't know. See, if I go everywhere, I might be um, spreading my forces a little too thin. Because I've contemplated, you know, hey, you know, we can drive down into Australia. Um, could, but might just get a little too bogged down in that. This is almost done here. We're just cleaning this up and well there's my mechanized division here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. We're gonna use them to help clean up the mountain. Fight our way in there. Um But we're gonna need troops. Got this mess I want to clear up. So, yeah. We want those Jaegers. I think that's where we're going to go with the Jaegers. Let's go up and get the Jaegers there. See if we can pick up a decent infantry division over here too. Go to Gibraltar. What are we doing with that? Attack on Cape Town. Oh, very well. Okay. Are there any other victory points down here? Oh, here. Well, they're getting there. Let's go back up and take Ravis Bay again. We have Cape Town, I'm not worried about him being cut off down here because we can ship in supplies. No, nothing transatlantic. I'm going to do a major reorganization of all of these cores off camera, but get ready. Oh, Snow X eases off. Okay, good. How's our air battles doing with them? Well. Doesn't seem many, so I think we won the air battle over Europe here. A few up here, okay. Hopefully chewed them up enough that there are won't be too bad when we get ready to go over Britain. They get more bonuses over Britain. Okay, infantry unit command and control. Okay, they're still on 43 tags, good. Now we're back to that 43 number. Where do 
here's Hanover, here's Hanover. Okay, now. Hold top. So that we're increasing our oil wells. We're still increasing these oil refineries. Like I said, for a while I'm going to stake one oil with synthetic for a strategic resource. Yes, you can have metal. Okay, we've got here, so... after the first of the month so we got lots of events okay seaport capabilities have advanced we like that that'll mean we can supply our troops better so we're gonna let that go on flying boat prototype which whoop they've lost HMS resolution okay order placed um, Finland okay Supplies for Crete. Not at this time. Small chance for that. Von Hammerstein. What is that? Euclid? Euclid? Oh god, I don't know. Ecod? Eh. Dies. Sorry, butchering is that. Um, died of cancer. And you can read about him here, so we will lose him as a general. He has been um, managing our sort of home army here. Um, not that great of a general, but... Um, he was um, rather anti-Nazi. So um, he worked with um, Carl Friedrich um, Goleder. 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce all these German names. Sorry about that, my German friends. Um, so he deserves to be remembered, most assuredly. Um, we do have death events in TRE, but generally not combat death events. Okay. Yes, we want to expand our synthetic industry. Yes, we'll do that as well. And we'll also do basing increase as well to increase our supply transport throughput. For ports, because we're going to be facing potentially some small ports up here that they may be supplying a lot of troops again. Or a lot of, like, mechanized and other heavy troops, so. Now we're having supply problems out here. I'm um, running for fuel. No, we don't want to buy fuel at the moment. Okay, we received our money. Supplies for Athens. Go ahead, because that's an outward bound port. And mobile unit train. Okay, now we're into 44, so we're going to stop that. Structure, we need to do that.
Another order place. Who from? Oh, Romania. Okay. We're going to save our money this time. SS Panzer Corps. The SS um, formation. Okay. Yes, we'll do that. And armor unit training has advanced. We're moving into 44. Let's move it over to here. The 43 tech. And there is an SS armory unit here. Okay, more core formations. No, we already have the sh other Schwer units, I think. Let's send these down here. Oh, these are all the ones in Paris I'm going to reorganize them for. Now I understand what they are doing here. Oh, Soren Geyer needs a tire. Divisional Commander, he's current one's been pulled off for some other unit. now at least. We're detaching from whatever command structure he... Spring mud clears, okay. You may even get this going in by May. Uh oh. Yeah, whatever. Yep, that's helping with our revolt risk. Well, we need to be some new back. Shoot, should have had to be going back for some time now. Okay, we're looking for an infantry division. A good one with yeah. Yeah, one with rockets and artillery here. Yeah, three, I guess. Rocket and regular artillery. I know I built a few of those. Oh, no, a mechanized unit to be stuck on. Gibraltar now. Okay. Detach. Go in there. And base over here. Before I get those paras out, I want to make sure that's held well. Okay, now. Make each trip count, carry as much as we can in that direction. Get ready to move into 
other parts of Africa. Okay, the tree unit training. Oh, seventh level seaport, yes. Ishi. Yeah, we'll buy one. Yes, that helps us a little bit with money and resources. Destroyer armor has advanced. That allows frigate. We'll do that. Switch over to there. We're still sinking a fair amount of stuff. Notice these are probably American convoys coming into here. That's why we're doing this. Still, the British are out looking for us. Still sinking a bit through here. Want down in here. One just. Well, that's them looking for us. Two, though they've got some of our allies' convoys. Probably Spain trying to supply down here. This guy has been acting as a core HQ. Well, let's detach these guys. There we go. That's better. If you notice, time is going by much quicker than it was when we were on the eastern front. One of our raiders is heading back to port, it looks like. Okay, um, transport hull advance, that's good. Okay, so we've maxed out on that. And we'll switch back over to doing that. And railroad network has advanced. I think we're going to stop that, and, but we're going to go over the road network. Okay, the Dutch NSKK. Um, we had a. Um, pretty sure it was Revolver Held's GGA event earlier for a similar sort of outfit um, basically somewhat overlapping um, we should move these things too um, too fast like I'm doing um, don't want to get to here but um, the wolf hook hook damn I hate the way this I may go in and chop that down or something make it a little smaller display Normally, most text doesn't go down there. Um, recruit, that's a recruiting poster in Dutch. Um, again, um, 4,000 Dutchmen joined the NSKK. They, as you see that patch there, it's this multicolored one that's up here. Um, that's the political party of the Dutch um, fascist, national socialist type party. Um, do we want to have them join up? Um, recruit them. Obviously, it's going to cost us a little bit of supplies, but we gain manpower. So it frees up other manpower. And this is an NSKK unit serving with the Luftwaffe. It's sort of confusing, I know. Um, so these are Dutchmen in the NSKK 
serving um, the Luftwaffe. So they were wearing, if you notice here, and this is a photo of them, they're wearing an NSKK uniform. You can see right there is this um, driver's qualification eagle the patch that I moved. You can go back before I clicked on this. Looked at it is the arm patch that they're wearing there for the political party. So that's an NSKK um, sort of uniform. And they, generally speaking, as you can see here, they used um, party badges similar, though not exactly the same. Though these guys are not, these guys are not wearing those color patches um, as the SS did, but they're wearing, this guy's much more in a Luftwaffe cut. This is I think more in an NSKK cut, but if you notice the eagles up here, they're Luftwaffe eagles on their helmets. So it's really sort of a, um, and, it, and it isn't at least purely, uh, though maybe a little bit, of just issuing them whatever they, they had available. No, it's because it's NSKK group Luftwaffe. So, you know, who's issuing the guns? Is it the Luftwaffe or the NSKK? Because I've seen NSKK troops not assigned to the Luftwaffe armed, you know, photos of them as well as these guys. So I don't know where it all comes up, but we'll take the extra manpower and we also get a transportation unit out of it here um, that we can assign. I think that's the only one. Um, but you can attach it anywhere you want to a HQ like one of these guys, or you can, you know, and we're going to send it down here because I've been sending a bunch of stuff and a bunch of extraneous, extraneous um, captured units that we're going to form up. And here's, I think, the other NSKK type earlier events. Pretty sure that's from one of my earlier events that we're going to use these all to form up um, divisions from a bunch of different services. Actually, you know, let's stop you and then hook you. We're gonna send you down here because we're gonna use you to form up. Use your battle group. No, we're not buying fuel at the moment. We'll buy some oil. But notice it's right up 44 instead of 43 balance there. Okay, landing craft flotillas have advanced. Okay, we can still get good enough. We're increasing the range. Don't know if we have to send them back through production or not to get that bonus. We'll see. And amphibious light armor has advanced. That's good. That's these guys. And we're going to let this go because we're going to we're building some more now, I think I am. And we got those Jaeger divisions. Yeah, we're building three more here. They'll be useful. These are also paradroppable. Though they make it, it got to really um, use a lot of aircraft to, to, to drop those. So... And I think these guys have made it here. Okay, well, I'll do this off camera. I think we're going to end the episode here. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. Do appreciate it. Um, please post comments. Um, I'm sometimes surprised at some of the details you guys are catching that I'm missing. Now, sometimes I do catch those things um, you know, off camera when I can sit and fiddle with it slowly and not have to try to keep things moving. But I do appreciate pointing out and advice... Sometimes I take it, sometimes I don't. Not that I, sometimes I don't take it because I think it's bad advice. It's just either not fitting in with my strategy or I'm just stupid and not going to take it. See you next time.